so hey what's going on everyone in this video we're going to be talking about the picture on picture which is generally known as pip it's a special type of multi window mostly used for video playbacks it lets the users watch a video in a small window pinned to a corner of the screen while navigating between apps or browsing content on the main screen so in this video we're going to be creating an activity that can enter into pip mode which is the picture in picture mode when the user taps the home button in button navigation mode or swipes up to home in a guest navigation mode this is how google maps continues to display directions while the user runs another activity at the same time by default the system does not automatically supports pip for apps if you want to support pip in your app then uh, you must register your video activity in your manifest so we need to set the support picture in picture mode on our manifest file so first let's head over to the android folder in which we're going to be heading over to the app folder and then we're going to be heading over to the source folder and the main one and you're going to be finding the android manifest.xml file so right here we're going to be adding down our uh, support picture in picture mode so i'm going to be adding it over here and make sure the picture in picture starting letter is in caps also specify that activity handles layout configuration changes so that activity does not relaunch when a layout change is occurring during uh, pip mode transitions so first we're going to be uh, closing down this android manifest file and we're going to be heading over to the upspec file which is uh, we're going to be depending we're going to be importing the dependencies all right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be importing this uh, floating dependencies over our uh, upspec.yml file so I'm going to be putting it over here and I'm going to be getting down these packages and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be uh, adding down the integration test so integration testing also called end-to-end -end testing or GUI testing is used to simulate an user interacting with your app by doing things like clicking buttons, selecting items, scrolling items etc. We use integration test package for uh, writing the integration test okay so then we're going to be adding down our uh, pattern dependencies so I'm going to be adding it over here and get the packages. So let's head over to the main.dart file and let's start coding. The main concept behind this is we're going to be uh, showing down how to create an pip activity that is picture in picture activity. So for that what we're going to do is that we're going to be creating a button over the right edge corner saying that uh, enable pip activity okay. So if I tap on that thing we're starting the pip activity. So that's what we're going to be creating it over here.
All right, as you can see that uh, I'm getting an error over here, which is a uh, uh, snapshot dot data. It says that a nullable expression can be used as a condition and uh, trying checking that the value isn't null before using it as a condition. Okay, so the problem here is that the environment we are running. So head over to the bugspec.vaml file and uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be changing now this environment. Uh, that's because it starts from the Android 8.0, which is the API level of uh, 26 over here. Okay, so it says that the picture-in-picture -picture supports from Android 8. So what we have to do is that we're gonna be changing down this environment SDK. So we're gonna be changing down to around uh, 2.7 or something. Yeah, that would be great. So we're gonna be changing down to 2.7.0 at the minimal version. Okay. So then we're going to be hitting this uh, packages and it's running it over here. So let's wait for a while and it should disappear right now. Yeah, that's it. Because, uh, yeah, that's because the uh, Android supports this uh, pip function uh, only beyond the Android 8. So that's why I had uh, changed this uh, environment version to 2.7.0. So if you uh, kept it around 2.1.7 it will probably show you an error okay so that's the reason so now let's run this app by uh, let me kill this partial yeah right now let me run this app by uh, getting down this command probably now it should work let's uh, wait on for a while and uh, let me grab my cup of coffee So you can see that it's disabled right now and we have this enable uh, pip button over here. So if I tap that and it's going to be like this. Wow. We can move this around and we can close this as well. And when I click this thing, it's going to be popping out this full screen button. So if I click that, it's going to be showing me the full app. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm leaving. And make sure to the like button and consider subscribing i'll catch up in your next one